Michael Lane from MLC CAD Systems. And today I want to introduce you to the new mesh full suite of editing tools available in MasterCam 2022. I have a swing arm here, and as you know, with many meshes or STLs, they don't come in exactly the way you would like them to. And in the past, we did not have the abilities to edit these or fix these. So with the new suite of mesh tools, I can manipulate this mesh solid, uh, fix holes, I can refine it or simplify it, and there are many other tools available here. So with that said, let's take a look, and you can see inside this bore that we are missing some surfaces. With the new tools, we can easily fix that by using the fill hole. I can select the mesh solid, pick the holes I want to fill, preview it, and now you can see inside that bore, all those holes are gone. That was not previous av previously available in the previous versions of MasterCam, which is really nice to have here. So we can also see that there's a hole in this solid, this mesh solid here in this uh, radius area. I can select my modify f mesh fill. Uh, I can select my modify mesh facets and I can select repair and it gives me the option to select those surfaces next to that hole. I can increase the brush, brush radius and I can do a, a bigger patch or I have the ability to do them individually. So we'll move it up to about middle, maybe a little bit more. Gives me a little bit more, a little easier time to select what I want to select. So select that. We'll select this. Just kind of scrub over it. Get all the surfaces that I want around this part. Click OK. And you can see it's filled in that hole. Now it's not perfect right now, but now I can use my refining tools and I can smooth this area by selecting the same method, the area, just holding down the mouse button, and I can select the area I want to modify. If I right if I right click on my mouse, I can subtract stuff that I don't really want. So I don't want to go so far out. I can take a little bit more out or I can add a little bit. Nice feature to have. So I don't want all these triangles out on the outside here. Just clean this up a little bit. So now I've selected all the all the facets that I want. I can green check that. And you can see that it's cleaned that area up a little bit. I can preview it. I have a lot smoother part. I can change my um, iterations, add a little bit more, preview it, and it makes it a little bit smoother. If I do less. You can see it's not quite as smooth. I can change the methods, uh, max minimize curvature, uh, minimize area. And you can see how it changes each time I change how uh, the smoothing is done. Let's set it to uh, preserve curvature. We'll hit preview, and that looks pretty clean. So. 
real easy, quick uh, ways to edit your mesh solid. Another feature that that's available for doing meshes. Let's say I had this mesh given to me, and there was there was an inner engineering change, and I need to make this hole bigger. I can go in, I can create a solid, I can extrude it from this from this arc that I've already created. Green check that, and I can go back to my mesh, and I can trim my mesh solid to my solid. And now, when I take this out, you can see I have a perfect, perfectly closed watertight mesh solid. Those are just some of the features that are available in the mesh suite. And we look forward to playing with a few more of them.